Hello everyone and thank you for watching this quick video on shop profile. My name is Daniel and let's dive in. So to do so we first must navigate to shop settings which is permission based. Once here the first tab in the blue header is called shop profile because you are in control of your shop which means you can hit the edit pencil on this first box you can update the title of the shop the name of it this will display itself on an estimate or a final invoice. Now beneath that you have an area for a shop ID, license number, or tax ID number. These fields can be empty. They don't ever show up on an estimate or an invoice, but they're good placeholders. If you're a multi-shop owner, maybe you have shop A, shop B, shop 1, 2, or 3, keep straight on them. Beneath that, your tax ID number is a place you can store those numbers and you can always fall back on them. You have 50 characters here to store any numbers that you need. Beneath that, more than likely you have vendors and you're tax exempt and sometimes you got to give them the number. So here you can store those numbers in case you're ever dealing with new vendors. But like I said, these numbers will not show up on an estimate or an invoice. Beneath that is your URL, your shop's website address. If you select it, you will go to your own shop dashboard. Now beneath that, you do have a place for your shop address. We do use Google Chrome to make sure that we can find the right address in the state city and zip code. Beneath that you have a place for your phone number. Your phone number will show up on a final invoice and an estimate. So will your business email and, and your business uh, website as well. Store them so your customers can find this information and potentially buy more service. Beneath that you have shop logo. Here you really want to put a JPEG is probably the best format to use. The biggest question I've had here is how do I get two logos? You're going to have to build that photo in Photoshop or something, and then upload it here. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.